wish I had a bigger pan for this. But I don't. This is gonna have to work. This is our setup here. We've got the old disc thing from the old house. I don't know what the hell that thing comes from. I think it's an attachment for like the ass end of a tractor. I'm not sure what it's for, but I have seen them where they have like all these discs lined up in a row. I think it's meant to like till up the soil or something. But it has a nice little square hole in the center of it, which means the flame can really only hit the pan through there. And the pan can only be warmed where it's touching that steel disc. So hopefully that will mean that the lead only melts where it's touching the pan and not where it's hanging over the edge on the other side. I hope. This might take a minute. It's making me very nervous that it is putting off all kinds of white smoke. That is, that is very nerve wracking. What the fuck is up with that? Why are you putting off death vapor? Knock it off with that shit. I don't even know what's putting off the death vapor. Is that coming off of the lead? I mean, this lead is kind of meant to be melted down. I think the people that normally buy it use it to like reload bullets. Which my dad's done that since I was a little kid, so I've seen that done many, many times. <laughs> ah, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Well, the wind is acting like, you know, almost like a respirator for me. Yay! Lay flat in there, you son of a bitch. Now, melt. We have some kind of residue here in the pan that will not melt. Well, maybe it will, maybe it just needs more time. 
time now to see the product of our hard work. Focused, you piece of shit. Now I take them out, dry them off, and we have lead that is much, much easier to weigh out and portion out and do stuff with than a giant block. And all right, here we go. We have a whole bunch of little pieces of lead. It's still kind of damp and needs to dry out. And you can see the first one that we poured turned out like this, these little flaky bits. But the second one, I poured faster while moving my hand a little bit more quickly and it came out as spiky bits. <laughs> So, yes, we have fleeky bits and spiky bits. Neat, right? So, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, where's your sense of adventure? Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks. And until the next one, you guys, I see you later. What on earth? That is so cool. I wish I thought to keep my tripod out here. Shit. Ah, that is wild.